Yeah, it's a lot of talent in Canada, man. Yeah. You watch the uh, watch the uh, the trailer park boys. I think that's what it's called. That's in Canada. Is that what it's called? The trailer, trailer park, park boys. Yeah, trailer yeah. Park, that's Canada. Is it? That's Canada. That's Canada. I didn't even know that was. Well, Canada, it ain't but a couple miles up there. Yeah, but it's still it's still a separation. Of yeah. That spirit. You know, like Helen, Ellen Page, little ass Helen Page, cute little white girl, man. Yeah. I'm gonna pound that hoe, man. But over in Canada, man, they still go old school for the city. You know that old school style. That's see you got the best rhyme. Right the comedy is even better, man. Actually, that American is just. It's down the drain, man. Down the, down the tube. Safe. Like, yeah, they got no salt. Lost its flavor. America lost its flavor. Used to be the. Uh, the leader, the leader of music, used to be the leader in, in everything. Technology used to be the beacon of the world. Period. America used to be the technological capital of the world. Now that, that, nah, this shit raggedy as hell. You seen them? Uh, <laughs> you see the subway trains in New York? That's supposed to be the top city in the world. Y'all got the raggediest trains on the planet. That shit, you feel like you on the beast of Kings Island. When you ride that, that one, you know what I'm saying? You're in fear of your life. And you go from there and go look at Japan's trains. It's like smooth, you know what I'm saying? Smooth ride going a couple hundred miles an hour. So, how is America the best? It's not. Well, let it rain when you that time. You go fucking up. So, I'm waiting for you. Oh, shit. Thank you for What you gonna do when them subs break down? The subway trains break down, you stuck up in there with a bunch of killers. They break down all the time. Yep. That shit's raggedy as fuck. They're constantly repeating. What about these raggedy ass Coda buses? This shit's raggedy as hell. America is that well favorite Harley. But now you see all these nations, they starting to despise America. So big about to go down, man. Once Trump, Trump, Jeremiah. Once Trump signed that, um, that oh yeah, nothing that the new Russian sanctions, it's gonna piss the EU off. They're already working on countermeasures anyway. So this place on its way out. Fuck this motherfucking place. Oh, Trump ain't, well he told them they're gonna have to keep it. They're gonna have to uh, 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 hold up their end, you know, financially, militarily, financially, you know. So Trump's the right man for that shit, man. And he meant it. He went over there pulling the Push him over. He walked by and pushed him all out the way and shit. You know? But as soon as he signed them fucking <laughs> sanctions against Russia, man. Uh, Russia just kicked the, all the United States ambassadors out of the country. Yep. That's a big move right there. Chicago now. The news. Oh, that should be with the first city they fucking hit. Goddamn Chicago. Get wipe that shit off the face of the earth. Since Esau don't want to do nothing about the crime in Chicago, I gotta clean it up. Yeah, <laughs> North Korea help out with that. Fucking what they call it, Chirac now? Chirac. Uh, Philadelphia got a name too. Philadelphia. Well, they call Columbus Columbus. Yeah. That's crazy, man. It's all about murder, murder. And Chicago's ahead of that shit right now. Like all the all the top rappers are coming out of Chicago. You know what they rapping about? It's just nothing but pure evil. Bloodthirsty, man. Bloodthirsty killing. I mean, they're cold. They kill you too. They ain't lying. Yesterday, a four-year-old kid got killed. Four years old, man. Nahum, I'm gonna start at one, three and one. It says, Woe to the bloody city, it is full of lies and robbery. The prey departeth not. The noise of a whip and the noise of a rattling of the wheels and the phrasing horse, horses and the jumping chariots. The horsemen lift up both the bright sword and the glittering spear. And there's a multitude of slain and a great number of carcasses. And there's none end of their corpse. They stumble upon their corpses. Because of the multitude of the whoredoms, of the well-favored harlot, the mistress of witchcrafts, that sell of nations through her well whoredoms. That's America. That's yeah. the mistress of witchcraft. You know? 
and families through her witchcrafts. Behold, I am against thee, saith the Howl of hosts, and I will discover thy skirts upon thy face, and I will show the nations thy nakedness and the kingdom thy shame. How many times you hear America ain't in the Bible? America ain't in the Bible. For all the other past great nations in the Bible, though, America's not in the Bible. Yeah. Right. right. But they claim they, they're the ones that believe in the Bible to say that. Actually, yeah, yeah. Or, or didn't you have these? They'll say America is in the Bible. They'll say that's the kingdom of heaven. This is the land that flow with milk and honey. That's crazy, man. Hey, I hear that's a lot of Protestants say that shit. See, the world, the Bible speaks of three fucking wars, three wars. Well, one, well, two, war three. So America's nowhere in there to say that. Shit. Because the Lord, the Lord is not does not look down on America with uh, what's that word with favor. He looks at this place with disgust. With a gleam in his eye. Yeah, with a gleam. <laughs> yeah, America is not the apple of the Lord's eye. Oh, look at my work, boy. That's, my, that's the, my girl. Hey, the Lord said you will know who my uh, servants are by those who do uh, keep my commandments. That's right. Oh, I forget exactly the scripture. I know there's a cop. I could probably look it up. Because you're going to know who the, who the servants of the Lord by the works. You shall know them by their works. What's the works of America? I mean, the faggots can get married here. That's just the tip of the iceberg. You know what I mean? You, you go. You can break all the Ten Commandments in America. Pretty much, almost all of them. Do what you want. Oh, you're not allowed to murder people. Okay, that's illegal. You know what I mean? But you're 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 allowed to break the first commandment. In America, you you can break the first commandment with no fear whatsoever that you'll get in trouble. Cause you, you're supposed to get put to death for blasphemy of the Lord. Yeah, you get protected here. Oh, you got religious rights. Where, where is the scriptures that say religious rights? And that thing called fat shaming. You can't make fun of a fat person. You That's can't make fun of a fat people are disgusting. They're supposed to be made fun of. Right. Yeah, you're supposed to make fun of somebody. That would, that would make them want to lose weight. Either they go commit suicide. But you don't want people to be all fat, nasty, all obese. Women walk around obese. She ain't got ankles. She got cankles. Can't even fit her uh, foot in a high heel shoe. You know what I mean? She can't even walk. Got to, got to drive a special car to Walmart. That's disgusting. See those special chairs they sit in. You supposed to make fun of somebody like that? That that'll put the fear in them to not be like that. See, I'm a transgender. U.S. soldier says it's a personal journey. Wait, they, they said they're gonna allow it for now. Though. Oh, the military said no, though. Didn't they? Trump they said, said no. They, well, they said they're gonna allow it for now. Cause I heard so a, the military yeah. said they're gonna allow it. For now. Man, cause these other countries are looking at America like America's a joke. You're going against Russia. America's about to get in a battle with Russia. And Russia is looking at the American troops. They dressed up in dresses, wearing lipstick, got transgenders in the army. They look at America like they're a bunch of little weak bitches. Yeah. Ain't nobody even afraid of America no more. You know, back in the old school, people, the other nations were terrified of America. They was terrified of the Marines. The Germans called the Marines the devil dogs. They was like devils. You know what I'm saying? It's terrifying. But now he, they look at America and like, look at these bunch of faggots. They're going to be easy to defeat in a warfare. A bunch of faggots. A bunch of weak bitches. Yeah, they did. Look at the Marines. Like the they did. That's the ultimate man. And they was, though. They was terrified. They would have ran through your ass. That's the That's the... Huh? Oh, go ahead. All right. Yeah, I joined the Marines because I heard the old stories. You know what I mean? About Chesty Puller and all this. All the... You know, all... All the hell the Marines used to raise. But now they're just a bunch of weak bitches. A bunch of faggots. They got actual faggots in the Marines now. And now it's up. Like, can we please get some more faggots to join us? You know what I mean? That's how we know America's on its way out. Because the, the man has become like a woman. And now the new, the new man is a woman and the new woman's a man. Everything's been turned upside down. Yeah, I got it. Isaiah okay. 49 and 24. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captain? Loud ass them jumping chariots. We just read right in the scripture. Loud ass chariots. He like, ah, cars ain't a chariot. Uh oh. Hey, you know the word, uh, you know the word chariot and car come from the same root word, right? Chariot and car come from the word carry, to carry you. So you can, 
A car is a chariot. It's the same word. Yeah, they got it jacked up. Yeah. Probably got some disease losing her hair. Dad's probably racing her too. Verse 25, but thus saith the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contendeth with thee, and I will save thy children, and I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh. Well, feed them with their own flesh. And they shall be drunken with their own blood. Right, just like Revelation says, the, the, it's a simple concept. Whoever kills with a sword gonna be killed with a sword. If you're doing fucked up shit, if you're being evil to somebody, you're going to get evil done to you. What's that? That's what they call karma. Karma's a bitch. You know what I mean? That's how you know if you treat someone bad, it always comes back on you. Like, I be seeing my children playing, right? I mean, you see it all the time. They do something bad, and two minutes later, you know, a basketball come out of nowhere and cracks them in the head, knocks them out. You know what I mean? You always see that that karma working. Verse 26. And I will feed them that oppress me. And I will feed them that oppress me with their own flesh, and they shall be drunken with their own blood, as with sweet wine. And all flesh shall know that I, the Lord, am the Savior and thy Redeemer, and the mighty one of Jacob. Right, so everybody running their mouth right now talking smack. Oh, the Bible's mythology. The Bible. You know, it's made by a man. That's a book written by a man. How could you believe in such ridiculousness? But soon, what does it say? It's that all flesh is going to know, you know what I'm saying, that the, the, the Lord is real. It's not a game. It's not a joke. When you see them chariots come out of the skies, this what they call UFO. When you see the chariots come out of the skies, you're going to know the Lord is real. He's going he's gonna to reveal himself. And it's not going to be funny in that, in that day. Y'all ain't seen no chariots. Isaiah 1 and 15. <laughs> and when you spread forth your hands, I will hide my eyes from you. Yea, when ye make many prayers, I will not hear you. Right, the Lord ain't trying to hear all these people's prayers. Either they wicked as hell. They don't listen to us. We the ones out here teaching the truth. They come up against us. And then they gonna still thinking they can just pray to the Lord. There it is. They celebrate Christmas. Eat swine. Come in adultery. Breaking every commandment under the sun. And they, they still praying. Talking about, oh Lord, forgive me. Help me. Help me in my distress. The Lord's not going to help you. He's going to inflict even more punishment on you. Go ahead. When you make many prayers, I would not hear you. Your hands are full of blood. Yeah, why well, these people their hands are full of blood. What was we saying? Chirac. Chirac, yep. Columbus. Yeah, these young kids, that's what they all about. Murder, murder, murder. That's the new spirit out there, that spirit of murder. All these little kids think they little gangsters. They are gangsters too. They'll straight kill you. They, they will kill you without even thinking about it. They'll take your wallet. You know what I mean? That's what they're gonna do. You see the video of the old dude following the two young boys, talking shit to them. Not his age. And they caught the video and everything. The little kid is shooting. Yeah, he pulled out his gun. Yeah. Like, look, man, look what I got. They come and strap. Uh, uh, he they was talking shit. We represent. We represent. The little kid's his age, man. These little bastards out here. Thirsty motherfuckers, man. You can't trust these. The young ones are the most dangerous ones. You see a bunch of little children on the street. Like, ah, look at these little kids. Okay. Hey, will fuck you up. They yep. don't know. Yeah, they don't know no better. They was raised by a single mother. Yep. She didn't raise them on the scriptures. They just out running wild on the streets while their mother's at home being a whore, shooting up dope. You know what I mean? So you got these little monsters growing up in the streets. Mm -hmm. that's, that's where they get their muscles from. Their mother, she all angry. Yeah, she, their mother's angry because she ain't got the dope and life is hard on her. They ain't got a father. So these little kids, they grown up as monsters. It's a heavy spirit. That's a heavy spirit. But you talking about cleaning up the community? And so that was the only way the community going to get cleaned up is by that fire. When the Lord burns it to the ground. How did they have to clean the diseases back in the day? You know, you burn it with fire, fire, yeah. This is 
uh, Proverbs 28. Let me see. I'm, uh, verse 9. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law. He that turns his ear away from hearing. Read that again. He that turneth his ear from hearing the law. So when you hear this uh, word being spoken, you're supposed to listen. You're supposed to turn your ear unto this and listen. Even his prayer shall be abomination. Right. So if you if you disregard the word of the Lord, every time you pray, your prayer is going to be an abomination. Because you didn't want to listen to the words of the Lord. The Lord ain't going to listen to you. I mean, that sounds like a fair deal. You know what I mean? He that have an ear, let him hear. He that have an ear, let him hear. Because y'all can't block us out either. You can't block the word of the Lord out. Even they got headphones on this computer. Yeah, you, you're going to be on YouTube. You're going to run into one of our videos or one of the other brothers' videos. You can't escape it. The Lord got us out here on every street corner. Marked. <laughs> you ain't escaping it. You've been marked. And you're going to hear it. You're going to hear it repeatedly. I was watching the Elder Tahar's video uh, this morning. And he said that's one thing you say about Great Millstone. And they got camps everywhere. We're active. We're very active. So y'all going to hear the word of the Most High whether you like it or not. Okay. It's going to come out. Hey, you got more to that? Read that, read that again. Proverbs 28, 9. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be an abomination. So whoever turns their ear away from hearing the law, what law? The law in the Bible. What does the law in the Bible say? The law in the Bible says, first of all, you, you will go back to Ten Commandments. The first commandment is to love the Lord that God with all thy heart, with all thy soul. Y'all ain't following that commandment. I don't worry, worry about you. What you say? I really doubt what you guys are doing. It's very effective. Hey, what, what is the, what is the word feminist? Yes, we are. What's the word feminist means? It means faithless. So you don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Feminist is faithless. That's, That's what, what, what the word mean. means. Does it? Yeah. I didn't know that, but. Right. Just learn something. Today. Actually, we're having a big effect. Well, hey, the, the, scripture, the scripture says the beginning of wisdom is the fear of the Lord. Yep. You know? So to learn anything, you're going to learn the fear of the Lord. It sounds rough. You ain't heard of the truth before. The hey. Bible's a man book anyway. It's yeah. for men anyway. Yeah, the Bible's for men. It ain't for hoes. Yeah, for women. It ain't for old hoes. Listen, we're not out here for women. It ain't for old hoes either. Yeah. He's about to shut the door on the old man. Yeah, the Bible's for men. It's a manly book. Not little girls. Go play little go play your crack whore princess. You know what I mean? And they always get, they always say something as soon as they about to leave, too. She gonna get ravished on that day, boy. She just been back She ain't nothing but a tree. I noticed her face on this. I mean, she ain't, she ain't nothing but a late night snack. You know what I mean? Oh, what, what do you do with a, uh, something a like that? Dumpster. Yeah, a cum dumpster. A piece of meat. That's all she was. That's all a woman is. And especially in America, a woman is just a piece of flesh. You know what I mean? Because they're all about, they're nothing spiritual about them, no way. They're not spiritual. It's just a piece of flesh that you just beat it up. Go ahead. This is John 9 and 31. Now we know that God here is not sinners. But if a man be worshiper of the Most High and do his will, him he heareth. Right, so the Lord ain't even hearing that woman. She came up. I mean, what you guys are doing is not even having an effect. It, it got you to get mad, didn't it? I, that was an effect. It got you to run her, your mouth. That was an effect. So it is having a great effect. Everybody, you know, paying attention, looking at us, listening. Some people is listening. The, the, the people that got some sense, they're going to listen to what we said. And they're going to be quiet. You know what I mean? Ever since all of us brothers know. It is going faster. So I can see the effect. A lot of people can't see the effect. I see the effects. Cause you got the Israelite thing. Don't reach up to the top as heights of the, the, the music industry. Even though your boy Kendrick Lamar, he's not in the truth, but he's pushing out that Israel vibration. 
saying that he's an Israelite. Ten years ago, that was not a thing. You know, you don't see no famous people saying they were Israelites. But now that's become a more common. You know what I'm saying? So the what what's that? Kodak Black Kirk. Yeah, Kodak Black talk me. He's whacked out of his mind. He had a video pocket right there. He had his chain. They said there's a hypocrite. That's my girl right there. I got some witchcraft in my Probably is. Proverbs 11 and 27. He that diligently seeketh good procureth favor. Ooh. But he that seeketh mischief, it shall come unto him. Yeah, so it said, the Bible said, he that seeketh mischief, it shall come to him. Yeah, like, yeah these streets are filled with number of mischievous. Bloodthirsty niggas. They bloodthirsty. Hey. Bloodthirsty hey. niggas. Vampires, man. This is spiritual vampire. The Ready spirit, to kill the, you? The spirit of the vampire. Lurking the streets at night when the sun goes down, these people flip. Man. They just looking for trouble. Look, yep. Yep. They, they're not happy till they get in a fight, rob somebody, shoot somebody. <laughs> it's crazy, man. But we live in a time of prosperity. Oh, and America's a great nation. You're supposed to love the country where your brother robs and uh, <laughs> robs and murders you. You know, that's your average neighbor in America is a piece of shit. Turn you on the drugs. Man. Hey, try this, man. Make you feel good. That's like, you know, this country got the spirit of Satan on it. This is the spirit of Satan. Like, when he's reading the Autumn Demons, it's the, it's the country Baalzebub. They got the spirit of Baal out here, Baal Barith. <laughs> the spirit of the devil. You could, there's a satanic spirit out here. Because it's a, it's a country governed by the flesh. It's all a country all about capitalism. Everybody got it. It's every man for himself out here. Do as thou will. Do as thou will. Yeah, this is a do as thou will country. What's up, man? What you got? I'm trying to think of that motherfucker's name, man. And it's gonna be too late, man. When the door pins close, it's gonna be it's gonna close. And ain't gonna they nobody gonna have that key to open it back up either. But the dude, uh, what's his name? Antoine LeVay? Am Antoine I saying LeVay? it right? Yeah, that's his church of Satan. Guy. When that dude was on his deathbed, man, never believed in the Lord his whole life. But when he was on his deathbed, who was he calling on, man? By that time it was too late for him though. You know, he was calling on the Lord. I heard something about that too. Yeah. Cause they get scared. Yeah. They calling get weak. On the Lord. He was calling on the Lord. He didn't call on Satan. You know? He was calling on the Lord. And they was clowning on him, man. They, a couple of nurses said they was laughing, man. They thought it was kind of humor. They thought it was some humor to it. The Lord probably showed him something. Right, right. But it was too late then, though. It was too late for him. The Hello. same thing with these devils, man. The Lord got a sense of humor. He'd give you a vision. Right. You know what I mean? He'll reveal the truth unto you right before he kills you. He had to have, man, that motherfucker had to be going through some shit. You know, you doped up too? You getting all the best mans, man? You still, like, terrified, man? Like, why? Same thing with these motherfuckers, man. It's gonna be too late, man. Call the truth, Jesus. No, they actually gonna be calling on the Lord, man. They gonna actually be calling on him his name and everything. That's so why that book of there. Jeremiah said Here, that. Let me get that. Those that they, they pray, but I did not hear them. Yeah. Well, that, well, that scripture you just read in, uh, is that Proverbs? Yeah, we just read two of them. Yeah. <laughs> the Probably he said your prayer is an abomination. Read so many scriptures, man. They just go, you know, just go. Because we the only ones teaching the, the, the Bible properly. I'm I'll, literally forgetting the scriptures I don't just read. Like, the spirit just moving. It's moving, man. You got to keep holding on to it. Yeah. You know? It's like you're going through that white water, that white water rapids. <laughs> you know what I mean? You got to move with it. Yeah, for real. You, you can't go against that. You go against the current. You know what I mean? Nice you gotta go with it. Uh, Israelite princess. <laughs> My beautiful Israelite princesses. Matthew 7. And, um, Matthew 7. You 
you know what? Let's just go through all of a lot of this. Seven. Yeah, let's read it. Let's just. I'm gonna start at the top. I like the big chunks. Yeah, because you know what? Seven was one of the uh, was one of the uh, first scriptures that, that caught my attention when Great Millstone first got on YouTube. It was chapter seven. You know. That is a heavy chapter know, though, because that goes right, into a lot. Right. First seven to one, judge not that ye be not judged. That's what people always say. Why y'all judging? But actually, we don't, though. We do, but we don't. We just know when and when not to. So there's a difference. For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but consider not the beam that is in thine own eye? Right, because we ain't going to call somebody out for something that we do ourselves. You know what I mean? We ain't going to be hypocrites. Right. We ain't just judging people just for judging's sake, just to be an asshole. 